What it do, what it do, what it do. Fashionably late, this motherfucker. Yeah, y'all, what's good? I think I'm live on Facebook, live on YouTube. What it do? Of course, a little technical, little technical difficulties, but yeah, we should be good. Y'all should be hearing me just fine and seeing me just fine. Let me know and hear in the chat box if y'all um drop a comment if y'all can't hear me. Y'all see what we talking about today. We going we going to jump in on some We going to jump in and talk about um we going to do some Q&A. It's just a quick little pop up. Um we going to do some Q&A. We going to look at the low board. Kind of see um today is going to be a real good day to look at the low board because it is Sunday going into Monday, which is the busiest day as far as like on the Amazon scale. It's like the busiest day you can see it. Somebody said where I'm at. Can y'all not see me on here? What's good, y'all? What, what cities y'all calling? I mean, y'all um, y'all in here from? What cities y'all coming in here to see the box trucks? Okay, I see Dallas in here. What it do? That boy Robin, what up, Krista? What up, what up, what up? Yeah, so we're going to look at the low board. We're going to look at um, some cities. We're going to do some cities. Um, we're going to talk about, let's see, I got a list. More like, um, more just trying to, um, like, really, really just get y'all to see what that, what that low board look like, if it's hitting in y'all area or not. Uh, I kind of want to get back to that because that was kind of helping a few people out. We can, um, we could just go through as many as we can. I really want to get into the Q and A for any questions anybody got. I kind of want to show y'all some some stuff too. Hold on, real quick. I actually want to want to show y'all what what we be doing because I be doing um, dispatching for for a lot of power only. Um, we slowly taking in more people with the box trucks, but like with um, with, with power only and um, and and just regular tractor trailer stuff. I kind of want to jump right in there and kind of show y'all some of that. So this is the gist of what we're going to be talking about. A lot of lookups. I'm going to try to hit everybody's city if we got the time. So just stick around so I can see if I can get y'all city too. Um, hey, hey, look, I believe we could potentially get everybody's city in there just, just to look it up. And I'm going to only do that as for uh, the Amazon Relay for, for box trucks, for semis. I don't even use um, Amazon for real though, but I guess if y'all want to see it too, from a semi perspective, I do that too. But yeah, let's get it, man. I'm feeling good. I'm able to find more rental trucks. My drivers went and got two more rentals, so I'm hella excited. So I'm like, let me go ahead and go live, cause man, I'm 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 super excited, and I'm able to find rentals in a 2022s. So I'm getting brand new deals, like so. So that's good. So actually, for that, I got a course next Sunday. If you book the course today. I'm actually going to give anybody half off on a one-on-one if they book it. I mean, that's how good I'm feeling right now. Like, look, if you book the course today, I'll give you half off on a one-on-one straight up. But I did want to show y'all some um some of these rate cons. Cause some, uh, I mean, you know, I got people that's asking about the dispatch, and I kind of just want to show y'all what, what the number, what type of numbers we bringing in. And anybody, especially that was trying to, they was they was wondering what all, what the one-on-one mentoring program, it's like 5,000, you know, would all come with that? Well, I'm guaranteeing that I can make you the five thousand back in a week in the first week if we dispatching it. So that's one thing. So hold on for a minute. I'm finna put my password in so I can share my screen with y'all and we can jump off the thing real quick. We ain't even gotta waste we ain't gotta waste too much time talking. It's it's about action. I tell y'all to be about action. So I'm gonna be about action too. We're helping y'all get what y'all need to help y'all make y'all decision on which type of truck y'all gonna be getting because um the thing is as long as y'all down to put in the work everything good what up what up Tampa what up Baltimore I see Dallas in here Cincinnati I see Columbus I see Raleigh you see Jersey Houston oh man we we deep from everywhere Pittsburgh Phoenix Arizona OKC okay let's do it let's do it all right I right, right, look, y'all. So I'm gonna try to run through it so we can get to. Um, first, I want to kind of like show the rate cons as like proof, because I, I mean, you know, you know. Hey, look, when you when you coming up and you trying to do something, even if you helping people, some people still gonna question whether you authentic or not. Uh, people like, oh, you this dude ain't got no trucks, or hey, look, I I typically 
don't like to prove myself to people. But at the same time, I realize that it's, it's broad and it's in the world of people that don't even understand what they're asking for. So I don't mind clearing it up just a little bit. And then this to kind of help people see what we getting on a power only. Cause I feel like, I feel like we doing phenomenal numbers doing, doing um, power only. So hold on one sec. I'm going to share my screen. Share screen. Y'all should see a map. Y'all should see me off to the side and it should be a map on there real quick. Just so I can kind of show y'all. And, and I'm going to do a quick little lesson for anybody new to the game. So if you, on this map, you can see where most of the loads are at. And it's just JB Hunt. But JB Hunt got a lot of freight. But they, this still tells the same story across the whole. This tells the same story across the game. If you look and see, it's more loads in the Midwest and Texas pretty much than anywhere else on the map. I mean, this ain't me talking. This is exactly, you can see JB Hunt, 3-6. Anybody that's in the game, this is this is not no nothing I can make up. This is this is real talk right here. So like so so we're gonna stick to the facts. We ain't gonna talk about fairy tale. We're gonna stick straight to the facts right now. Straight to the facts. So this is who I book most of my loads with. Um, because I like the way that, that I can negotiate with them. So let me see what they hitting for. Let me go to to my loads. So y'all can see, you know, where where most of those loads is at. So driver assignment, hold on. So let's just go to completed loads that I didn't done. So this is a load that I do all the time. So let's go look at the details of this load. As you can see, this is already built or whatnot. Invoice and all. Let's see what the pay is on here, if it's still showing the pay. Let's see what the accepted agreement is. Let's see. So as you can see on here, 1397 to go 327 miles. So just keep it, keep that in mind. 1397. And y'all should be able to see that clear. If not, let me zoom it in a little bit. I right, zoom, hold on, let me zoom it out some. That's the that's 1397 to go 327 miles. So that's how I'm saying, like, I do this seven days a week. And then plus we get the backhaul to come back. So we doing at least a thousand. So that's 2,500 every turnaround. So that's the type, that's why I say I can guarantee more in a semi than I can guarantee in a box truck dispatching because I'm getting, I'm getting really, really good rates, you know, on the stuff. So, and that, that's real right there. You see emails, you see everything. I ain't even blocking nothing out. Y'all can call them if y'all want to. Y'all can get in, get in where you fit in. This, this is open source stuff. This ain't nothing that only I got. Anybody can get on here and do this. The thing is, I just got the relationship. So if we competing with each other, I'm just going to get it faster. That's all. You know, I mean, that's all it is. And y'all can build up to that particular point. So it ain't no, um, don't get it twisted on. Like I'm saying that I'm doing something that I can make moves. I'm just saying it. It, it took me four and a half years to get to this point. So, you know, just as for all the doubters and non-believers or, or whatnot. So let's go ahead and jump into this relay real quick. Go ahead and jump into this relay. Let me make sure I actually be having to make notes to make sure I'm staying on topic because sometimes I'll be, I be just tripping and going off. Um. So, yeah, all right. So we're going to go to trips. So I just wanted to show y'all this before we jump and start looking at the load board. So these are these is all of the of the loads that I'm running that I run nightly for anybody who thinks that I ain't got no trucks or or whatever. These are these are this is my company. I actually got a video finna drop in a couple of days showing my trailers and my trucks with my name on it since <laughs> since I'm you know to to a few people they 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 retarded and they don't they don't, they don't know that I really do this. But yeah, so these is all my, all the loads that we got booked tonight, you know, so, and these are the rates. So the rates ain't really all of that great on some of them, but as you see 52 miles for 350. So it's like a bundle deal. These rates make sense in a bundle. A lot of the times they don't make sense separately. So I might be losing on, on a few of these, but uh, some of the other ones might make sense. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of just what it be like. 
So tonight we run it. Let's see, we run it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We run it eight lows tonight. So we was running 13 last week. Maybe something slowed up. Who cares? I'm gonna make money regardless on it. Cause I only got, like I said, two of my trucks. Oh, it's only two of my trucks actually running on this. The rest of these, you know, you know, I get them, you know, I get them out and, and I have other people with their own authority and everything running those. So let's go ahead and jump to the low board. Like I said, we ain't finna play games. Y'all see it, saw it. This this is these are the rates that I'm getting. Um, if y'all got any questions on how I make this work, you know, hey, ask them. Let's do it. So before I get on that, let me go ahead and jump into and make sure I can um I see we got Boston in here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm having a problems with Amazon load. What problems you having with that? Thanks for the game. Only three months running the game. Made 9K this week. Hey, thanks for the game. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Say so he made 9K this week. Holla, holla at your boy. Everybody give him a congratulations. Like the video because he's been following, following, getting getting some of the game too. This is this is open source, free. Ohio is definitely hot. I've been talking to truckers. Then oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Ohio probably the Ohio is probably the the hottest. The hottest of the hot. So um yeah. Oh yeah. We just Kobe Road Dog trucking. He's a box truck. Hey. I ain't been finding, I ain't been finding no box truck rentals, but I'm getting semi rentals and, and I'm, I'm cool and I'm happy with that. I'm cool and I'm happy with that. So yeah. I, I see Kiana say, let me get the hat. Oh yeah, nah, nah, nah. These are the, you know, I love them buckets. I love the buckets. Okay, so I think I um somebody said zoom in. I believe I did on that. JB Hunt does about a billion dollars per quarter. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, he said three billion. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, they give me my money, so they still. I think they still owe me about forty grand, but we getting it worked out. Okay, I got Valdosta in the building. I know you could pull some 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 semi loads out of there, but yeah, let's jump straight to it though, real quick. So, um, I'm gonna start with Cincinnati, Ohio, since we on the topic. I stay here. I got about an hour and a half, two hours a day. As they say, I got time today. Let's get it. So yeah, so so here we go, Cincinnati. But the closest thing to Cincinnati right now is Illinois, and they paying halfway decent on ninety eight miles, three three fifty two. So nothing, so nothing quite right there in Cincinnati, Ohio, right now. But that don't mean anybody that's in the game know that you be sitting right there, and at the last minute, bam, you know you will get you some. So it ain't even all about what they what they even showing right here right now. So look at St. Louis got. Got one in Hazelwood and that same one. That's um far that's far away in the middle. Let's see. We we tried Tampa. Let's go to um New Jersey. Or like, I mean, like what city? Uh, okay, hold on. Somebody said New York City. So New York, New York. And this was then 250 miles, so it's nothing. Closest thing is 488 miles or 321 in Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh can see right now, anybody who's looking for Pittsburgh, that it is work out there in Pittsburgh. It ain't a lot. Here go Twinsburg, Ohio. Right here, they got a little something right here. So Twinsburg, Ohio is showing something when I pull up New York. But that's in a 250-mile radius. Let's go. Let's go rally real quick. I see we got rally on here. I, don't, I, I think I'm saying it right. Rally, North Carolina. Because I can't even see my keys real quick. So we got Raleigh, North Carolina. Nothing. Closest thing is Pittsburgh. But that's just nothing from what it's showing on here. Different day, different results. But don't depend on this boy here solely. That's the main thing I want y'all to get from this. Don't depend on this boy solely. It could be a good, you can have a good day, a bad day. Now during peak, this boy is going to be going crazy. But like right now, All right, so we got Houston and Dallas on here. Let's do Houston. Houston, Texas. Nothing. Not even within 250-mile radius. Let's do Dallas real quick. Dallas, Texas. Where is it?
I swear I hate this new um this new Amazon load board. Here you go. Nothing in Dallas, even within the two two hundred fifty mile radius. So let's make sure our things is on. We still good. We still see the origin is Dallas. Equipment twenty six. Solo. So we ain't, so to make sure we got full transparency here. We got Memphis. We already did. So we got Memphis. Then we are gonna do Baton Rouge because we already did. Um, I see another Columbus in here, but we already looked up. So Memphis, the closest thing to Memphis is going to be St. Louis. They got something on the map right now, but that's just right now. Memphis, uh, let's see what we got. I mean, let's, let's do um, Baton Rouge. Nothing, nothing even close within 250 miles. We, let's do Phoenix. That's out the Phoenix. I miss Phoenix a lot. I don't miss the freight game out there, but I miss living out there, though. Closest thing, Fresno, California. Closest, closest box truck loads right now to Phoenix. And that's on any day. See, I ain't got the days blocked in. You know, I ain't got no cities excluded, no duration. Just strictly, strictly everything's open. No, no filters on here. Let's do it, Richmond. Hey, come on, I'm trying to find Richmond, Virginia. They're giving me all this other stuff. Hey. I ain't making it so hard. There we go. So Richmond. So Richmond got one. Well, now nah, that's that's all the way in Pittsburgh. That's 245 miles dead. So so everybody in in Pittsburgh should know that, hey. What it is. So let's go to OKC. It is better type that in. Ah, it ain't that. They ain't, they ain't let me be that that lazy today. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Nothing. But um almost five hundred miles away in Aurora, Colorado. But there's other boards out there. That's why I like box truck people. I feel like if you get in the game, you gotta get you a dispatch. I'm actually creating an alliance right now trying to get more dispatch help because it's only it's very few people that's really good at the box truck stuff and, and i'm trying to bring them on my team and, and um get it going because raven I, I didn't told everybody about her now she ain't got enough you know manpower to actually you know that they get all of the business that's coming to her because she she really good she really good but yeah we finna fix that in a minute so let's see we got we got Furburn, Georgia, but I'm just gonna run by Atlanta one more time. So one time, so because Atlanta, that's 250 miles. The closest thing on the map right now is St. Louis. Closest thing to Atlanta. They got some um, box truck freight. I think we did Jersey. Let's just look at New Jersey again. Jersey, New Jersey. Closest thing is. Michigan. No, nah, actually not Michigan, but Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh again. Closest thing to that. Like if I'm up north, I'm going to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, the only one that got something for real. Pensacola, Florida, I can almost bet it ain't nothing out there. And I almost bet. Oh, it'd be hard. Yeah, it ain't nothing within 250 miles. I already expect that. Let's try Riverhead. Riverhead, New York. Riverhead, New York is nothing. Let's try Seattle. What do you know? Seattle got all the work. Where Amazon headquarters at? So Seattle looking like it's it's open. Well, no, nah, this is 145 miles out. So Hillsboro, Oregon is is what all of these loads represent. Uh, Seattle got one. 500. That mother paying hella decent though, right there. 155 miles for 500 bucks. That's decent for a box. So yeah, 
Yeah, I see that it is some places that's loaded with them. So, hey, the proof is right there. Like I said, do do what your market can do. Box trucks might not be good in your marketing. Don't solely, solely base it off Amazon. Like, really, though. Let's do Chicago. Shot town in here. Just do regular Chicago. Chicago got a few on the board. Got a 55 out there in Wisconsin. Wisconsin again. So, yeah, it looked like the closest thing to Chicago, Wisconsin, you got to drive 55 miles. It's kind of like in Georgia, it'd be a lot of work up um, 55 miles up there in Jefferson. So, it is a, it is some work near Chicago. I already did Memphis. Um, did New Orleans. No, nah, I don't think I did New Orleans. It's a lot of New Orleans in here. Somebody said, can I do DAT? Potentially. Potentially. Let me do Allentown. Hold on. Actually, I think. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure I ain't pass it. All right, Chicago. Good evening, Mr. Payway. When I'm looking to get started, I have 58000 saved up. To start, need, you, need your help. Hey, look. Hey, um, send, send me an email. I mean, you can get a complete business set up. Have us to set it all up for you. Find you a dispatcher and all of that. Guarantee you that 5K in that first week as long as your driver willing to go anywhere. But a one-on-one -on -one mentoring, we could do that. Cost 5K, but I can guarantee you the 5K back that first week. So no cap. Yeah, I see I'm getting 13. So that's, you You do 13 times five. I'm doing like 7,500 a week. Doing running like running like six days. So, so we got Philly on the, um, Philly on the map. Well, we know Philly got it because Philly had it over. For everybody else. Philadelphia. See it popping. We're not Philly Pittsburgh, I mean. Not Philly Pittsburgh. Same state, but you know. PA, but all right, so we so we got Philly. Let's check out Detroit real quick. I'm gonna run through these fast. My computer doing me justice today. We running through them. I'm almost at the bottom of the list. Drop yours again if I haven't went through it. Because I'm at the bottom as far as my screen is concerned. <laughs> Nothing close right here um, right now. I think the closest one is right here, 112 miles in Ohio. Actually, here go one 66 miles deadhead in Swanton, Ohio, from Detroit, Michigan. So the closest place is Swanton, Ohio. I don't know if y'all seen that, but there, there it go again right there. Let's see what Baltimore hitting for. We ain't, we ain't did Baltimore yet. Still, the closest thing is Pittsburgh. Up north is hard, though, man. Up north is hard with boxes. I want to know why y why why anybody would be scared to do a, do the semis. I can break that fear for you. Put up your ad. See if you can, as long as you get somebody to drive for you, it'll be easy. So let's look at Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> Nothing within the 250 mile. I might be able to do DAT. Let me finish this because this is this is set up for Amazon load board only. Let me make sure I take care of everybody on here. Allentown, PA. Closest thing is Pittsburgh. God damn. A lot of comments just came in at the same time. All right, so yeah, I lost my spot, y'all, because um, a lot of comments just dropped at the same time. So yeah, I think I'm good, though. I see Stockton, California. I missed that. So, yeah, let me look at Stockton real quick. That's something different. We ain't seen that yet. Make sure y'all like this video. Make sure y'all subscribe if y'all not. Um, get this video up to, it was 140 people in here. We should have over 140 likes. Because people coming in and out. So, yeah. 
I'm showing y'all the board. Just like it and make sure y'all spreading this out, sharing this. I get my name out there to help help me build my business. At the same time, I'm, I need people who need to be dispatched. Trying to build that part of my business right now. So, um, 137, Reno, Nevada. That's the closest to Stockton. We got um, Vacaville, I guess. Vacaville. I don't know. I don't know what that's what that is. Um, 45 miles away. That's a mm, depending on how far that this location is going back. That might be an okay load. See, I wouldn't take that load. But if if they gave me ten loads all together, then yeah, I'd be able to do that. Somebody asked me what's what's your opinion on doing final mile contract with work for XPO? I would do it because I'm actually about to try to do some intermodal with XPO now. Uh, so that's going to be a new something I'm getting into for sure. So shout so out to everybody that's um hit hitting my cash app too. In the Kobe Pegway Cash Up, I appreciate y'all sending sending some some love over to me. I appreciate it. Let's see, let's see. So Allentown, if Philly is basically like Allentown, okay, got you. So that's the same. So let's. So is anybody? Okay, so I see Kansas City, Missouri. And, and like I said, y'all, as, as I'm doing this, more comments are dropping. So I could be at what y'all at y'all thing, and then it'll just drop if somebody else needs a, need a comment. Kansas City. So here we go. Only it's 185 miles out of out, out of there. So that means somebody must have booked that St. Louis. Already, so it's the closest thing. What, what city is that? Iowa. So that's why I like the Midwest because there'd be so many other cities that's close to you. Like the Midwest is just the best to do this shit. Flat out. Hey, Tito, Tito I already looked at um Ohio. It ain't had nothing on there. I ain't seen you in a minute, bro. So it's York, PA. Let's see. KC Mo did that. Did Baltimore. Did Stockton. Let's check out Boston now. I can almost be predicting the Northeast ain't going to have much, though. Nothing. Only thing in Pittsburgh. Nevada. What state in Nevada? I guess I just assume that that's Las Vegas. If Vegas got, got one, a decent one, too. Not bad. Now, let's see now. 240, 480. Eh. I would, I would, I would run that if I ain't had nothing else to do. I definitely would run that. It wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to survive off running that, but you know, it'd be a good filler. What does, what does peak season? Hold on, somebody asked a question. When does, when does peak season hit, brother? I'm in Memphis. Um, peak starts around. They change it. It's, it's mostly, it's, it's in November though. I would say like the, I would say like the last six weeks. Hey, hey, y'all, hold on one second. Mama calling, I got an answer. What's up, mama? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he need a large helmet. Yeah. Yeah, so everything on that list he need. Yeah, everything. The only thing we already got is shoulder pads. Yeah, no shoulder pads. Uh, well, we're going to have to just make that work. Or either like some blue pants. Yeah, we could try it and see. All right. All right, y'all. Yeah, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. I can hear the critics now. He's so damn unprofessional. He's answering the phone while he's live. Hey. I'm giving away free game, nigga. I'm going to answer my phone. <laughs> hey, people be critical of, of, of free shit. They ain't pay for. Funny. Jacksonville. Let's go ahead and see what Jacksonville. I can almost bet. If Jacksonville got something, I'd be hella surprised. 
Could just be a type of Jax. Ah, uh, it changed his mug up a lot. It should be a lot easier to search through here. Jacksonville, Florida. Not even nothing within 250 miles. Closest thing is Tennessee. Brazos in Georgia, nothing. I mean, we are because that's gonna be within 250 miles of Atlanta. Um, Delaware, that's that's a new one right there. Hey, I'm really interested in seeing what Newcastle, Delaware look like. I couldn't imagine. Well, hell, I wouldn't think that I wouldn't think that that, that um Oregon would have had that much freight though. So sometimes you just gotta look and see. Newcastle. Ain't why they ain't got it on here? Or am I overlooking it? So they just got anything in Delaware. Uh, I don't know why they're not showing me nothing unless I, I, I just don't know how to um, spell or something. I hear it go. There it go right there. I guess it's two separate words. That's what it is. Closest thing is Pittsburgh, 242 miles away. Browsing, okay, Little Rock is different. Y'all can't just give me states either, though. Y'all have to give me the city. There's Little Rock. Closest thing, Tennessee. Toledo, Ohio. It's still going to be, should be close to them other spots in Ohio, but we'll look for the hell of it. We got time. Toledo, let's see what it's hitting for. Yep, the, so we see some 38 miles out of Toledo. Where everything else is far, far away. There goes something else out of Swanton. So, yeah. That's right, Kiana. Tell them to like and subscribe. Y'all need to run it up. Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm at the bottom of it. Um, I already looked at Phoenix, though, too. Scarsboro, Maine. I, um, I checked that out. I guess the next scores, bro, is a score, bro. But there we go. Man, boy. Scarborough, Maine, nothing. The further you go up northeast, the, the worse off. West coast, all the way northeast, when you put your back up against that wall, it be, it don't be good. All right, Trey. Thanks for the donation. You say, um, so yeah, so as far as I'm concerned, I caught up on everybody. So if you drop it. Uh, spoke to the XPO recruiter. She informed me the pay would be $725 per day. How much would you pay a driver and helper to operate for this truck? Uh, I mean, I would I would imagine at least like $150 a day if y'all lifting stuff. Y'all jumping out. So yeah. I, I mean, I would say about $150 a day. 125 to 150. But 725 is good. Um, how many miles is that, Trey? And is that on box truck or is that semi? If that's on box truck, that's pretty decent depending on the miles. What's up, Kobe? Just check in with your homie. Kilo ATL in the house. That's what's up. I appreciate all the free game. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. I'm free game, Kobe. Hashtag me. Tag me in. Shout me out on IG. Help me get my following up. I'm giving you the free game. Help me get the free name. Free name brand. So, yeah, let's see. I already did Rally. I already did Houston. I see we got a lot of Houstons. Yeah, I already, I already looked those up. Um, Hannah. But we 40, we 40 something minutes in. I'm trying to make sure I knock out all the questions too, as well. Let's get it popping. We finna. Get these M's together. I just see that most people that be hitting up, they be scared. They be scared to put their money in. If it ain't, if they can't figure out how to guarantee it, they don't want to do it. Don't even, don't even try to get in because scared money ain't gonna make you nothing. So we ain't got nothing. And uh, ha, um, Hanahan, I guess South Carolina. I fucking don't know how that. Out of this Chattanooga is gonna be, it's gonna, it's probably gonna fall in the same thing. But it got 250 miles, probably gonna be something in Tennessee. Yeah. So 98 miles, you got Laverne or whatever, Tennessee, closest thing. Loads are posted. Somebody asked me, um, 
what time the loads are posted. Um, the loads are posted at random different times. There ain't no algorithm on no certain time. I'll be lying to you. Anybody be lying to you to tell you. I mean, I work directly with Amazon. And so they send me mines on like Wednesday night. So I'm not really looking for loads. So I don't, like I said, I can put you on this game, but I don't, I don't be looking for Amazon loads for real because I already get mine. Um, yeah, so let me see Jackson, Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi real, real quick. I got actually family out there. I don't know him for real, but I know that I got family out there. So, hey, y'all think we cousins hit me up. I need some more family. I need, I need to expand. And Mississippi got that cheap ass, um, cheapest damn insurance. Hey, one of my family members. Hey, let me let me use your address. I'm looking for Jackson. I guess I'm gonna have to scroll down. There we go, Jackson, Mississippi. Nothing. Closest is 400 miles away in Tennessee. Somebody asked what San Antonio hitting for. Probably a whole lot of nothing. But we'll we'll see. We'll let the, we'll let the facts show. Nothing at all. That's right, Keon. Tell them scary money don't make no money. You gotta, you gotta put something in. I had to lose before I win. One. Somebody asked me what's up with the restaurant right now. We we kind of got a little squabble going on with the city because they keep one person is telling us that we got to do this when they get into review. So we're trying to get uh, the permits. We already got everything demo, but they they won't let us put nothing back up yet. It's been a year and we forty thousand in the rent. So just understand that I'm forty thousand in the rent on a restaurant that I've been having for a year. Because the city don't really want a vegan restaurant in there. There's not another vegan restaurant within 25 miles in any direction. They don't want it to happen. So they're trying to bleed us out. It's, it's this thing called um, paperwork genocide that they do to people so they can run out of money. But the only problem is I ain't finna run out of money before we're going to get that shit open. Because if it ain't no other competition, we finna really, really fuck it up. I mean, we really going to make... They just know the money that's finna be made there. Box truck work. She said no more. Okay. Ooh. That's sweet. Excuse me. Hey, Trey, hit me up, man. I'd definitely like to talk to you on that. Hey, I'll put a truck out there for 725 a day. So so y'all had a lot of late Houston's. Let me jump. I'm gonna jump back to Houston because um I ain't getting many more. I'm gonna do Houston one for the one time. But Houston ain't had nothing. We gonna I'm just gonna show y'all. Houston ain't got ain't got much. Uh let's see. Austin ain't gonna really have much because that's within 250 miles. Columbia, South Carolina. Nothing. Nothing, nothing on that. Baltimore had nothing. Columbus, nothing. LA may have something. Fresno is the closest place. In Cali, somebody asked for Brooklyn, New York. All right, so basically we run around the same things. Y'all gonna have to watch the replay of this to find that because I ain't gonna keep on looking up the same cities that we already looked up. I do a couple of ones because I know some people just got in here. Yeah, we looked up Brooklyn. Um, let's see what New York, New York. That was easy to find it that way. Which it would stop giving me these damn recommendations. New York, New York would be this e equivalent to Brooklyn. There's nothing within that area. Um, we already did New Orleans, already did Atlanta, nothing in Atlanta. Um, already did St. Louis. And like I said, the best load for a time, like, like, like Yo said, hey, late night when they come in. So that's why I was like, y'all trying to see it's only so much of the game you can see without being in the game. It ain't it ain't it ain't a whole lot you're gonna be able to see. You're gonna have to get in and um, you know, and kind of figure it out. Just like I said, make sure that you make sure that y'all ain't just strictly dependent on one person. Cause I did that for years. It was good, but when they when they ain't really wanna deal no more, you know, I'm like, oh shit, you know, I made millions, but still you don't you don't wanna be and now I don't even run with Amazon because I found somebody paying way better on the semis, paying me six seven hundred dollars a load more so i'm glad i kind of got from up under their umbrella it was easy they system easy but yeah 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 i'm definitely still in that crypto real real the market real real stiff right now already did kansas city 
I already did Allentown. So anybody got any questions? Because I don't see any cities in here that I haven't done. I could try San Bernardino. And I'm pretty sure that fell within a 200 mile radius of one of them cities in Cali. No, I'm spelling the wrong burn. St. Bernardino. Yeah, closest thing is Fresno. So I think I got everybody's air, everybody taken care of. I already did Pensacola. You know where a good semi, I would rent. I mean, all my people that's taking the um the one-on-one mentoring program, I'm getting all, all of them to do rentals. If they can find one, it's better to start off with the rental. Um buying a truck right now, the trucks are up like 25%. I just think, and it, you know, next year it could potentially not be worth what you're paying for it now. So, uh, I mean, the best, if you wanted to buy a truck, I would go to Freightliner dealership or somewhere, you know, or a dealership, get a little warranty on it. But I ain't into really owning trucks. I'm going to sell two of my, um, two of my trucks right now. I got a 2012 I'm selling for 20,000. It's a manual. And I think I'm going to sell my, um, I got a 2015 Big Red. I might sell Big Red for about, it's an automatic for about in between 37, 39,000 or something like that. Well, I know, I, but I know I got one manual truck for sale for sure. Is Philly in the same market as Baltimore, Maryland? I don't know, but yeah, it's pretty, I mean, Philly look a little better than Baltimore. Cost to get started in semis if you rent. Just think about it like this, y'all. Look, the cost, the reason why I talk about rentals is because y'all got to think of this from a business aspect and you got to think of it from, think of it from, and um, think about it from an ROI perspective. So we want to think, we want to think return on investment, right? Hold on real quick. Let me, um, let me see something real quick. I wish I could just put these mugs right here. Hold on real quick. Yeah, I'm trying to um, see something on this screen. I guess I don't know how to do it. But yeah, so, so yeah, we got to think of it from ROI. So let's say for instance, right? So with my whole setup right now, if, say for instance, um, one of my graduates just from the thing. Okay. So he ended up spending, he spent 10000 down on the semi. They charging him about, I think he probably paying like 1500 a week, right? So he's going to get that ten grand back. So all he had to do is put the ten grand down on the truck, pay for the first week ahead of time, right? And pay for his insurance that was, I think he had to put like four grand down. So you're talking, that's five, that's, like 4,500 to five grand, you can get started if you do a rental because all you need is insurance. So I say, even with all your little, the little DOT and MC number and all of that, maybe six grand could get you in the game. Yeah, granted, you might lose a thousand dollars a week. You know, granted, you might lose, you know, a thousand dollars a week, but who cares? If I could still make two grand and somebody else's equipment, see, everybody talk other people money. I'm teaching y'all. Hold on real quick. Hold on. I think I'm out, I'm out of focus real quick. All right, so every, everybody else want to talk other people money. I'm talking other people equipment. I don't want to own. I want to own nothing and control everything. So somebody asked me why am I selling Madden Star 07. Look, I'm selling because there ain't no incentive to own it. Like, why do I need to own it? And I'm trying to scale to 10 by, um, 10 by the end of the year. If I can get 2022 from Ryder, guess what, y'all? A driver they want to drive for me gonna gonna want to come to work and run and, and run in the twenty in a um in a twenty twenty two or twenty twenty. You feel me? I can't go, I can't go and go buy a um ten twenty twenty twos right now at a hundred forty thousand a piece. That'll be that'll be crazy. That'll be ridiculous. Why would I do that when I can still make money without owning them? So as long as I can do two to three, two to three to four bands while without owning the truck, why would I ever care? That's 20 grand. That's a million dollars profit with 10 trucks. That's a million dollars profit. Why do I care about owning it if I can make a million dollars? So when I get tired of this, I can go tearing all them trucks in or in another, in another thing, you got to think about it. 
CDL drivers want good equipment, especially if they're coming from Werner or a bigger company. So you got to think when you, you we can't think like, look, y'all, we got to stop thinking like workers. I understand a lot of people. Hey, look, I thought the same way. Get out of the worker mentality. The thing is, we got to we got to set the business up to make it make sense for the people that's going to be working for us. So if the driver is going to be working for you, you got to make sure he got good equipment that ain't going to break down. Cause even cause okay, say you own a truck when they break down, it costs you money. My rider truck break down, they gonna bring me another one. You see what I'm saying? They're gonna find me that they're gonna tow it to the nearest shop and give me another truck. Wow, I'm back on my money. So I'm thinking I'm I'm like wholesaling the game. You feel me? I, I just want I just wanted to run. I just wanted to keep going. You feel you feel me? So keep that in mind that you gotta think like an entrepreneur. I'm trying to figure out how I can make how I can make each operation make me a million. How can I do a million in dispatch and profit? I ain't talking about gross. I'm talking about profit. Million in semis, profit. Million in boxes, profit. Million in freight broker, profit. But I ain't really tripping off the box trucks and trying to make a million. I'd rather just do dispatch and freight broker. But semis, semis be giving me the trail to where to work at, owning them. So I'm going to always have some of them. Even if I go down to like five, but right now I'm finna go up to like 10, 20. I'm finna just try to see what a big fleet gonna be like so I can go holler at some big people. Like, well, I think Walmart required like 15. So I'm trying to go get me some big contracts with some shippers. And the more trucks you got, you know, the better. And uh, you asked me about the 2015, how many miles? It's an automatic. I believe it got like, I gotta look and see. Hold on real quick. I could tell you. I could tell you right now. Give me, give me one second. Actually, I'm gonna show y'all. Kind of like the back end of what of what it looked like, like how how I can um, find it. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Give me a second. Hold on, so I'm gonna go back into my stream right here. Go to this other screen. Let's see what it's hitting for. So let me get logged in. All right, look, so I should be able to do it. I don't go in this system too often, but I kind of want to show y'all what it, what it's hitting for. Like what my ELD has showed me kind of like how many miles and everything I got on the truck. So y'all should be able to see my screen. So I can click on here. Go to Geo tab. And I should be able to just go on. I can go on the map and this is how I see where all my trucks are simultaneously. I can just show me where everything get on the map. This is all the trucks. This is where they get on the map. So right now this driver is in 4905, which is the red truck. Let's see how many miles it got on it. Let me see. It should show me right here. So it says the odometer has 727.580 on it. So right there, y'all can see that 727.580. That's that's for you. That's big red right there. And this is my this is this is my ELD and GPS tracking and everything. How I track my trucks. I know somebody was asking me about that. So this kind of like kind of show y'all the um the back end of it and how, and how it run. How I could just go. So with a broker on the phone, my dispatcher gonna hop in here and be like, hey. Uh, he gonna he gonna call and be like, "Hey, where's your driver? Cool. All we gotta do is look on the map. Hey, look, he almost to you. We ain't even gotta call him or none of that. So, ain't rental companies trying to limit OTR and box trucks? Yeah, they are. Um, some of them. You gotta find somebody who's willing to play the game like you planned it. Um, mostly that's mostly people I wouldn't rent for, like budget and enterprise. I wouldn't rent for them anyway. But yeah, the, the, the lower overhead, man, we got to think ROI. We got to think like business. Like I'm trying to use other people's money and other people's equipment. I'm trying to make millions of dollars while my money sit in crypto and I'm investing it in other stuff, but I'm using other people's money for trucking too as well. Somebody said, put your phone on silent. Um, why does that even matter if my phone is on silent or not? I don't even understand that. People be focused on the wrong thing. So what's up? Um, so I'm gonna make sure I answered everything before I get out of here. 
U Haul was talking about ninety nine cent a mile. That hurt. No, nah, you can't even use a U Haul anyway to do to do regular the regular stuff. Can you show the two thousand ten as well? I'm in Houston. Want to get started up soon. The twenty twelve truck is. Let me see this. It's this unit right here. Actually, it's this unit. Nah, something wrong with that. That old dominator definitely ain't right. So I'm gonna say that. Um, I don't know why it's showing like that though. But the odometer, um, the odometer on that one gotta be like, I want to say like seven, maybe seven fifty five, seven sixty or something like that. My man has a fleet. Why would he put his phone on silent? Oh yeah, that's why I said like people understand like, bro, I run a whole business, like multiple businesses. Everybody be like I said, people be on that retarded. This worried about the wrong thing, and they clicked on this video. I ain't tell you to come. You clicked on it. Like don't like. Why does that? Why does that? that don't even make sense, bro. Like, nigga, I got five kids. Nigga, my phone ain't finna be on silent. Even if I, even if you paid me for this session, my phone still not gonna be on silent. I got, I got family. I, I take care of my mom. I take care of everybody. So nah. She wouldn't know nothing about that. I realize that people that ain't in your shoes don't even understand. So it's like employees never understand the boss. They don't get it. If they did, they wouldn't be working for you. If you understood what I understood completely, you probably wouldn't be watching this. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, so I'm about to close this down. Uh, <laughs> where are you? Oh, oh this, is, this, is, this is a good question right here. Were you worried? leaving your job to do trucking oh hell yeah um i'm i'm my, my risk level is higher than most people though but keep this in mind though the only thing you should consider is how easy would it be to get your job again if you left and it didn't work out if you if the answer is that it, it would be easy if it'd take you three months to roll back into the job that you into now man leave that shit because you ain't you ain't really risking nothing for real and the thing is if you know you're gonna put in the 16 hours it's gonna work I'm telling you, you're going to make sure you get you a dispatcher. Guarantee your success. You see what I'm saying? Make sure you study your market. Guarantee your success. Make sure you take a class or something to where you can know the game before you even jump out there to guarantee your success. So it's a lot of things you can do. Like I said, I can set up your whole business. It's it's, it's certain things you can do. Like I, I can mentor you. I got two slots left right now for one-on-one -on -one mentoring left for, uh, for this month where, where you get six weeks and I'm actually going to be coaching you. I'm actually going to be coaching you the whole way. I'm going to show you how to set up your ELD. I'm going to show you how to do all of that stuff. But somebody could be like, man, I don't want to pay nobody 5K. Okay, hey, I can get you 5K in the first week. So think about what I'm saying is, would you pay a nigga 10 grand to show you how to make 100,000? And that's kind of how you got to think. Would you? Would I pay, like how much is the, the game is worth, how much you feel like the game can make you? If you feel like the game, you're going to be lazy, don't need already. I only for one, I don't even take everybody. So you got to, you got to get on the call with me. I got to see if I even, and some, some people ain't even got the hustle. It don't even make sense. They like, oh, I'm trying to do this while I still got my job. No, I'm not going to take you as a client because I know for a fact how much is so much, it's too much unforeseen stuff to be trying to do it part-time. Now with the semis, like somebody out of Ohio, they could keep their job. I could dispatch their truck. And help them. It's gonna cost a little bit more if I gotta manage you, manage your company. You have to give me a little percentage. But I could anybody out of the Midwest, I could do it for. Anybody out of Atlanta, I could potentially do it for, and they can keep their job. But certain, that's got to be in the semi. I wouldn't dare do that in a um in a box truck though. I can do a full. I can completely just run somebody's semi. They can find a driver, get the truck, put it on with me, and I can keep that mug rolling. They ain't even got to worry about nothing but just collecting their bread, you know. Of course, there's going to come with more costs, but that's how easy it is to get semis going versus the box truck. The box truck, anybody, you're going to have to. When I jumped into the box truck, I, I, I was driving it all day, day and night. I, was, I wasn't even going home sometime. I was trying to wait and chase loads. So understand that box truck and semi game is different. Anybody you see that's saying they could do passive on a semi, that's believable, especially out of certain markets. And you ain't even, the thing is, you ain't even got to live in that market as long as you're willing to put your truck anywhere somebody in florida like willie for instance 
his, the system is working for him because even though he based out of Florida, his driver is driving in places outside of Florida. So he's still making six, seven bands a week or sometimes eight. He still can do it because he understands that he's not trying to do it from Florida. Anybody that's trying to go to Florida, come back to Florida, and man, run, hell no, nah, we can't do it. But if you, but if your truck could probably dead, probably take a little uh, um, at cost low out of Florida and run somewhere else for like a week or two, yeah. It's the, excuse me, it's the only way I would suggest you doing it if you are just based out of Florida. So certain markets, like I, I just showed y'all the map. The map, tell the truth, the Midwest is where to work at. So if you down to put your truck in the Midwest, like south, run southeast to Midwest loads, we doing, we doing 7,500 just going from Atlanta to Durham, North Carolina, which is only 400 miles away. That's it. So it's not like I'm running all over the place. And granted, some weeks we could do eight if my driver could run his recaps, which is something that, that y'all have to learn how to do. You know what I'm saying? That, w- within the logging system, within the EOD, the driver can run a recap and skip his 34. But I try to talk compliance with new with new people, but they don't really understand. So I'm like, that's why I would like to take the class, you know, take the class so I could so, so I can so I could teach you. Um. Yeah, David, that's um Durham, Durham, North Carolina. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, y'all need to take like like get the get the coach and get the schooling because it's a lot to it. I mean, I know y'all want to play it safe, but hey. He said, What's my email? Hold on. So my email is info at obbigway.com. I either send it to, and, um, sometimes that stuff be going to the spam too. So, so yeah, so that's it. It's, it's info at Kobe. It, I mean, you can just go to my website. It's at the bottom of the screen, kobepegway.com. That they have my contact information. I'm a new sub to your channel. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Hey, this was up, Elijah. Yeah, so yeah, just um, you can email me, or you can um, or either you can um, yeah, you can just go to the live chat. So, like I said, it's not it might not be me talking to you, but we'll we'll get back with you. Just let me know exactly what you're trying to do. Like I said, all right. So, I, I probably got about twenty more minutes. I can you know shoot some questions to me. Um, make sure I talk to y'all about what I had planned. Yeah, so yeah, so we, like I said, we got I do got some slots open for um for dispatcher for semis. Um power only if you ain't got a if you ain't got a truck. Um I mean if you ain't got a trailer, we can run power only. Um like I said, also it's a link. All you gotta do is go to my website, look at complete business setup. A lot of people got the questions about what is the the one on one mentoring complete business setup? We setting up your whole authority, finding your insurance. The only thing you got to do is find your truck and your driver. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to make how to find your driver. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna give you questions and all of that complete guidance. But you got to be committed to it. You get finding a driver could be hard. It took Willie. He just graduated. The first person graduated. It took him six weeks to find a driver. Six weeks. So if you you got to have the time, and now he, now he making. That six weeks was worth it. He averaged six, seven grand a week. Take home two thousand in a rental truck. He ain't tripping. He said, "Can I borrow a little something?" <laughs> yeah, you could borrow some of this game right here. Are you hiring any box truck drivers? I'm in Ohio. Nah. Now, if you're trying to go over the road, potentially, you know, hit me up in my email. I might be looking. Um, I got somebody say they're supposed to be able to get me. Two dollars and seventy five cent in the box truck. If they can give me that in the box truck, I might not even. I, I be you. You will be hearing me talking about box trucks, and I never probably speak about a semi again if I can get two seventy five to three dollars in the box. That'd be the way to go. But I ain't seen that. A lot of people, a lot of people, um, be saying what they can do. But let's see what it's hidden for. I got my MC. Congrats, congrats on that. I'm down with being gone for long periods of time. All right, for sure. Uh, send me that put interested in, in, uh, in box truck driver position over the road do that it's the only way i do really box trucks it's really really over the road and i still do some amazon um in between that 
CP, how can I contact you directly with minimal wait time? I need roughly an hour. Yeah, so you just go on my website. If you go on my website, you can book the time. So Chick Magnet, I'm pretty sure somebody else might got this question. Go on my website on the first page, just go to book one-on-one coaching call. Then they gonna, it ain't gonna, you ain't gonna wait at all. You just strictly gonna book the call and I'm gonna show up on Zoom with a cool ass hat on, or either I can call you on your phone. Straight up. Either way, but you gotta book it. So my schedule is a little bit open now, but I'm gonna be closing it off because I got um I got traveling this week. I gotta I, I gotta go to St. Louis, I gotta go to Detroit. I got to actually be going to Flint, Michigan to take them 300 gallons of water, actually, too. So I got that going on the end of this week. I'm definitely going to be trying. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take my equipment with me so I can potentially go live from where I'm at. I try to keep bringing the game more consistent, more often. What other low boards that provide useful demos besides DAT? Um, probably truck stop. The best one for box trucks is going to be select. It's very, very tough to get on there, though. Very, very tough to get on there. Who do you, th what do you think are the most reliable trucks? I mean, reliable, I don't know. All trucks break down. I haven't had one yet that didn't break down. So as far as reliability, I don't know. But I stick to freight liners because they're easy to work on. They come with Cummins and Detroit engines. So most people, every shop will work on those. I just try to stay away from trucks that like internationals, the old internationals where people don't want to work on them. What's up, Andy? All the new subscribe, hey y'all, subscribe, like the video, get this video up, up, up. Um, we could jump back on the low board. I got a little time, real quick. Hold on, what is seven twelve in St. Louis? Yeah, I got to make sure I'm off because my boy Yaki awaken. He finna, uh, he super super dope dude. Make sure y'all check him out too. Um, he got the he master herbalist. He can you cancer. He beat all of it. He can tell you how to get rid of everything. So. He gonna be going live at at um at eight thirty, seven thirty Central Time. Hold on, so that's eight thirty. So that means that's nine thirty this time. So yeah, I, I'm gonna stay on for a little bit. But I want to make sure because because I, I gotta catch his live because I know he's catching mine. So so yeah, and I'm gonna spell it for y'all too. Search search him online if y'all if y'all got any family that's that, that that need healing or anything from anything. I'm talking like some of if you got a worms, parasites, whatever, he can show you the diet, yakiawaken.com, his website. Go check my brother out. It's my brother, one of my best friends. We be going at it, but we know how to get money together and we and we both for the people. He giving you all game too, just like this. He, he gonna go live and put y'all on all kind of game. I already did New York, so y'all just gonna have to um go and look back. Um, Don Dollar, I might. I might do a few. Let me make sure. Um, need a semi, bro. Are you are you trying to do rental B Wilson? Or are you trying to buy? Let me know. Least at least to a company, but not working much. Thinking about getting my own authority and moving to Dallas with the day cab power only. What would be your thoughts on that? Should I go for it? Where you at now to make sure you ain't moving to from you know from a good place to a bad place? And getting your own authority is always good. It's always good. And then you just, just let me know what city you're in and what you open to. So that's why a lot of y'all, so a lot of y'all need, like a lot of y'all questions be like loaded. It would be like, I can't really, I'm live right now. I need to really dig deeper into where you at, where you going. That's why I say book a one-on-one -on -one so I can do it. So I can, I can spend that time. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I strongly suggest a dispatcher with new authorities. But it's so many dispatchers out there. That's why I said, send me y'all information. So once I get caught up and I get this thing, this box truck loop, I can dispatch for y'all. I'm gonna create a team to do it. If y'all interested, hit me info. Go to kobepegway.com and um and, and go to the contact us and send me an email. Say I need dispatching. I might not can't do it right now. Cause I'm still building a team and box truck loads are harder to a little bit tougher to find, but I got some people on my team that's doing five to six K with box trucks every week. It's just, it's, we getting so many, the demand is so high that it's hard that we need more people. Like one person can only dispatch efficiently like five to six trucks. 
unless it's dedicated work. Now, if it's dedicated, you could probably do one person could do like 15, 20 if it's all dedicated. But if it's if it's finding each play, each each person different work, it, it becomes a little bit harder. I'm even working on a dispatch course too, though, because a lot of y'all can dispatch yourself. The only problem y'all gonna have is in the first 90 days. That, that's that's where the benefit of having me is. I'm not saying, hey, main thing I want y'all is for y'all first 90 days so I can help y'all get started and show y'all how to actually do it, show y'all how it's done. After that, y'all can go off on y'all own because I'm going to consistently keep having people coming in. So y'all ain't got to stay with me forever because I feel like even my even my drivers, I'm teaching them how to be owner operators. I ain't trying to hold nobody. I'm going to always get what I need. Plus, I got seven, eight, nine streams of income so if i ain't making it over here i'm gonna make it over there simple as that and i can teach y'all how to do that so and keep in mind the coaching calls ain't only just based on trucking i'm into crypto i'm into hella businesses i had i didn't have a construction company before car lot so i didn't i didn't have businesses and failed at businesses but i do i do uh, like um, airbnbs right now i can show you how to get into that um just buying buying and flipping Whatever. I mean, so the coaching call could be for any business because all business is really the same. How much does it cost to do it in time and money? Is it worth the time and money that you finna put into it? I mean, it's, it's, it's all it's all simple stuff. You know what I mean? But not everybody know that because I, not everybody had my experiences. So I say, hey, look, it's only so much free. Free gonna only get you so far. And that's all I'm gonna say. Hot shots, good idea. Uh, I would never do it unless I was doing it myself. Hot shot with cars make a bunch of money. And hot shot with flatbed. Flatbed is too much work for me. If you could put like this. If you want to ask me what do I think about something, the main thing you got to think about this before you ask anybody else what they think about what you can do. The first thing I'm going to think about is what type of work am I going to be doing? The I3 formula. That's why I tell you I to take the class. Take the class next Sunday. The I3 formula is all about showing you why it makes sense to have the work first, then the driver, then the truck. Because the work in the market that you in is going to determine, okay, once you find a work, okay, say you want to do hot shot. My man's want to do hot shot, right? So if he want to do hot shot, that means that, okay, am I doing first? Am I doing flatbed? Am I doing cars? Okay, let me throw up me a post on Indeed and see if I can find a driver that's willing to do this work or either am I willing to do this work? So now once we get work figured out, we got to figure out, okay, who is going to, who is going to drive this? I mean, who is going to do this work? I need to find a driver. Then I can go to the dealership and go get me a Dodge Ram and go get me, you know what I'm saying? Or wherever, wherever you're going to go to get your, your dually truck. It has to go in that flow. It can't go in no other order. So I can't answer that question for you. It's all going to be about, what makes sense in your market? Okay, where are they paying in your market for hot shot for flatbed loads? Like I said, there will be another instance where you book a one on one call um, for an hour. We go, we go look at DAT load board during the daytime. Like let's say about the board open up about eight or nine Eastern time. Boom, we can look on there and see what the flatbed loads look like in your market. Boom. So now that the whole point of the one on ones and the coaching, and everything is so when you're spending your money, you got direction. You got, okay, look, I know what ELD I'm going to use. I know what insurance company I'm going to go with. I know what this, I know what that. You ain't got to think about all that. You can focus on what work you're going to be doing and you can outsource all the rest of that stuff for the moment, for the time being until you get more into the game, until you understand it a little bit better. How do you get financing for a semi? Is it, and if Without a CDL, it's going to be next to impossible to get financing. Um, that's why I said a lot of times you start off with a rental truck. Stop thinking of buying, y'all. Buying is buying ain't where is it, man. I'm telling you, you can you can buy and think you're gonna make more money, but you're gonna have to. I wouldn't say buying ain't where is it. I would only buy if I couldn't rent. It's the only reason why I end up buying more trucks because at the time they ain't had none. Thoughts on performance. Why is it important to have other alternatives? Other I don't know if I really understand that. You're saying other streams of income or other alternatives outside of Amazon Relay? I'm not exactly sure what that question means. Hey, anybody think of box truck over the road? Uh, hit me up in an email and, uh, and just make sure you put that as the, as the subject line. 
Let me let me turn up this, turn this up real quick. Let me smoke. Ice so going on. It's getting dark outside. It's messing with my lighting. Got 10 G's living in H Town. Oh yeah, if you ain't 10 G's in H Town, you'll be you'll be straight, man. Go go start up your company. Come, I can help you. Man, we can get it going. It's gonna be easy with 10 G's. Find you a rental. Call it first thing, call around and see see where the rental's at. Cause like I said, I've been finding them. I just haven't been finding them in Atlanta. I've been having to go to Florida and South Georgia and different type different places. Like it's trucks, it's trucks out there. You just gotta look through the cracks and crevices. Y'all just gotta want it bad enough. Like I wanna get 10 trucks bad enough, so I'm, I'm gonna find them. You know, straight trucks. Like I said, I'm building up a, a list right now for um for, for straight trucks on a on the on the dispatch. So if you're interested in saying, I'm, I promise you, give me a couple of weeks. I'm gonna have this ironed out where we're gonna be able to take on 30 about 30 box trucks. But I gotta, you know, I gotta get a team in place. Yeah, box truck in Memphis, though. Like, are you willing to go over Don Dollar? Are you willing to go over the road? Is the question. Are you willing to do whatever it takes? <clears throat> I'm not saying go over the road permanently. I'm just saying do this until, until you can find something else. Like until you can figure out what's the thing. The key thing is, I don't want to have my trucks go out every day. I'm looking for daily work, but <clears throat> throat getting dry. In a hey Jess, hey, bring me some water. But yeah, so but but in the process of getting all of that set up, you got to set you up some things to make you some money while you're looking for other stuff. Amazon was making me money while I was looking for other other things. I found JB Hunt, I found XPO. I found like, damn, it's a bunch of people out here that give me way better rates. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 look at this. Marcus Ford. I've been dispatching myself. Just gotta stay on the low board all day. Hey, Marcus, how long you been in business, bro? Are you out of your 90 days? Talk to us, because this is this is a good example. Can you rent a semi? Hell yeah. I don't got no, I don't got no no CDL. I don't got no CD. I rent semis all day. It's gonna, it's gonna go in the company name. The only thing is, somebody got to pick it up with a CDL. You can't pick it up, but you can damn sure rent it. Willie, hey, he out of Florida. He got a semi. Don't let these people tell y'all <laughs> what y'all can't do. You could do anything. It's just you might not be able to do it in your city. You might have to call somewhere else. I used to get them Florida routes. Man, look. Last time I went to Florida, Amazon was playing too many games, bro. I don't even, I ain't even gonna entertain that. Excuse me. Do you think it's possible to get something started in trucking being active duty and military? Yeah, if you do semis. But it's gonna be, you're gonna have to, like, I don't know how you're gonna hire a driver. You're gonna have to find a truck, hire a driver. Uh, it, like I said, if you, if you, want to do passive income semi i got you as long as your truck your driver willing to be out for a couple weeks i got you <clears throat> and that's all i can say I, we can't get it to a passive point i just sold my crib i made three thousand in profit I'm trying to get this million oh yeah for sure hey i feel you hey let's break bread i need some investors Hey, you say, hey, look, hey, look, straight up, man. I need, I need investors, man. I don't know a lot of people that be willing to put up. I be having hundred thousand dollar projects. I be trying to do hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand. I'm already a hundred thousand into the the restaurant, and I still gotta pay the contracts and the rest of the money to finish. So, yeah, it's. A, I mean, let's do it. Okay, so you two months, so you still haven't hit the ninety days. So that's why you on the board all day because you still limited. But but once you get past that other month, you good. I can dispatch you under the thing, the thing that I'm gonna do for dispatch, I'm gonna build, I, I got the relationships with these folks. So I book the load and then I just put it on you. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm book it under my name and then I'm gonna boom, I'm gonna flip it. And you can, and I, I do the, we do the 3% quick pay. So you can factor the loads directly to us. We got the track record. I got a reputation. So, and ain't nobody, it ain't gonna be nothing, nothing on my name. So just know that that we could do that. I need to see that load board real quick. All right, what you got, man? All right, 
Drop me a couple more cities. I'll go back on the low boy real quick. Drop me a couple more cities real quick. I, um, I still got it up on my other screen over here. So, yeah, I just need y'all to drop the cities and we can get it popping real quick. Yeah, yeah, Shawane Robinson, boy, you've been super persistent. Yeah, like I said, man, we putting it together. I, I just don't want to take nobody on and we half-assing it. You know, I want to make sure that we got somebody dedicated to you that could follow your loads and all of that. Because we're going to be responsible for all of them loads and everything. So I just want to make sure we good. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you. Hey, look, when your cup, when your cup, when your cup is filling out, is spilling over, you can't do nothing but help other people. Because you're going to already have way, way too much for yourself. I'm already super straight. You know. What percentage do you pay your drivers? Uh, 25, 30%. Paying about 18. They average about 1,500 to 1,800 a week in the semi. Look at this. Connecting the dots. Hey, look, see, this is what it's all about right here. That's why I need y'all to click on the link in this thing, join the Facebook group, because it's supposed to be a community thing. It's enough money for everybody. We ain't even in the same cities. So Big Willie's like, hey, you need any drivers? We making connects right here. This is what it's supposed to be about. Everybody's supposed to be talking to somebody else in here. Like, hey, you do this, I do this. We connecting the dots. Let's do it. So, yeah, yeah, okay, so I see Cincinnati. Somebody just said St. Louis, Minnesota, Milwaukee. So go, uh, let's, go, let's go back to St. Louis again for the one time. I think it'd be, it'd be weird when I do that because I just got to do STL. I only work when I put in STL. But, yeah, those loads, that was it was loads on her early. They got booked already, though. So yeah, they now everybody that was on her earlier, they seen it was lows, but the the mud's gone right now. So let's do um let's do Milwaukee. Milwaukee should have have a little bit. Wife just texted me and say the kids got water all over the house, and I don't know what the hell is that um. I guess that's a cue that I've been live for too long. All right, y'all. So let me go ahead and do these couple of city lookups, and I got to go. I don't want to say whoop some ass on live, but you know. So here go um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 78 miles is... Whatever that is, whatever that. Oh, hold on, my bad. I ain't even sharing my screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And Big Willie again. My email is info at kobepegway dot com, and you can find that on my own website too, kobepegway dot com. It's Cali good for all right. So look, so so y'all should be able to see this Milwaukee. They only got one. They got that's even close for real. Where are they commenting from? Most of the people commenting from YouTube. So I Facebook come in a little bit slower. So like Terry Holmes, I um I could bring in Facebook comments too, but mostly the crowd is way is much bigger on YouTube than Facebook. All right, so let's move up to um I see we got LA again. We looked at LA, we looked at Detroit, they ain't had nothing, nothing in LA. Hey, hey, uh, hit me up, man. Hit my email. If you if you need the one on one mentoring, hit me up. I got two slots left for the um for that five K. Cost five K, but you get to call me. You get my phone number. You can call me. You can text. You get direct access. I'm gonna be like literally because I only could do like two to three three people at a time for real because they have too many people calling disrupting my flow. But yeah, let's do it. Dallas is a good market too. Texas, period. I right, said, so let's look at, we're going to look at, um, all right, so I'm seeing a lot of the same cities, but I guess we could just go back through them. 
Because right now it might be something right now, but it might not have been nothing earlier. So check out Memphis again within 250. Nope, the closest thing is Nashville from Memphis. Cincinnati, Ohio. 239, the closest thing. So nothing out there. Let's do Little Rock. Little Rock is, I believe, is close to uh, Memphis. I ain't, if I ain't tripping, if I know the map. I think I know the map. Nothing. Richmond, Richmond got some of the best rates where they had so They could, they could have changed. I wonder why they be playing so much in. Richmond VA. Am I overlooking it? Yeah, I just don't see it on here. Unless I spelled it wrong. I spelled it right. Yeah, bro. Um, sorry, I don't I don't see they ain't showing me Virginia on here. Well, give me a city that's close to close that's close to Richmond. Jacksonville ain't got nothing. I can already tell you that. Dallas. What's this damn thing will stop pop, popping up on me? Dallas, Texas. I oh, ain't Dallas. That ain't Dallas. Let me just pop that out. Nothing in Dallas, Virginia. I need a. I need a city. Can you? Can I buy a semi at least to a company and hire a driver without a CDL? No. Nah. You can't have you can't have a driver without a CDL to drive a semi truck, but you can buy a truck and lease onto a company. Jay Sneed say shout out to all of the my fellow box truckers. We in our own lane. I cut my teeth with Amazon. <laughs> they stay all right. So Marcus Ford says stay away from HAL logistics on that low board. Oh yeah, stay away from Master Three PL too. Does trucking business slow down after the holidays? Yes, it does. But you're going to make so much money during the holidays, you will be able to survive. Trust me. I'll be making a killing. East St. Louis in the building. What up? What up? What up? Let's look at um, Charlottesville, VA. Pittsburgh, the closest thing. Hey, yeah, hold on real quick. Let me come on this mic real quick. Let me yeah, I usually be going live from my catwalk, man, but I ain't, I ain't got time to be trying to have them kids cooped up in the room so I can go live. So I know that was a better scenery, but. Shit, the kids need to be and they need to be roaming free. So, so y'all see what Charlottesville look like. Uh Edwardsville, that's St. Louis. We already seen it. It ain't nothing on there. Do no, I mean get a driver, but I have, but I don't have a CD. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. They yeah, people do that. Yeah, yeah, the people do this all day. I, I mean, it's just basically I just basically what I do. I don't have a CD. Here. I just drove with a um 18 wheeler for the first time yesterday. It's kind of cool. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was, was going to be. Is OTR better than Amazon? If I, yeah, definitely. If you only got one truck, like Amazon only makes sense because I got multiples. So, yeah. What time is it? 8.34. So, how the hell? Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. He just sent it again. Okay, I got you. I was thinking of buying semis, yeah. I mean, don't don't buy them if you ain't got to. You want to buy some, buy some trailers and rent the semis. For real. 
No cap, did it here in Houston. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you definitely could do it. So, let's see. I think I answered everybody. DAT Chicago. I ain't doing DAT right now, though, because it's Sunday. It ain't going to even be nothing on the... I already know it ain't going to be nothing on the board there. I'll probably do this again, like, on... Um, will I be here tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, because I'm fly out to Tuesday. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. All right, so I think I answered everything. Dog. We've been on here an hour and a half. Um, I feel like we covered some ground today. Yeah, hard to search for loads and drive. Yeah, so that's why I said you can you can do it. It's possible, but is it safe? Uh, I would say the best place to rent from would be Penske first. Then I would say Ryder second after that. My Instagram name is Kobe Peg. Is um uh, is it's, it's, it's at Kobe Pegway. So follow me on IG, y'all. Um, I got the class coming up. Ten people sign up. We can do the class on um on next Sunday of night. I'm gonna reschedule it. Um, and then like I said, you, if you book the class today, you get half off of a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. It costs two fifty. I do the hour for one twenty-five. Um. So y'all can answer. So y'all can, you know, after the class, people be having a lot of questions and stuff that they be needing. Also, I got the book for anybody who just the class and the book is kind of like the same. The class is just better because it's interactive. It's like this, except y'all can actually talk to each other. So that's why I like the class. It's, it's it's five to eight hours, and we be in there actually vibing and um and connecting for real. So if you want the book, the book is ninety nine. It's on the website too. Um, but you can read the whole thing that the class is. And if you got questions, just book a coach and call after that. But uh, also, like I said, two, I got two slots for the um, mentoring left. And we got open slots for the class next next Monday, uh, next Sunday for the first. Y'all book it today. We got it off. So, like I said, support me by taking the class. I'm gonna keep dropping these, these um, these free, these free lives, showing y'all what's up. But it's only so much I can show y'all just by. It's only a part of the game. It's so much of the game that ain't that ain't we ain't talking about here. We just talking about work. What about compliance? What about that 14 hour clock? What about the reason why you only can make so much is because your driver can only drive 11 hours a day. See what I'm saying? It's a lot of different variables that go into dispatching. Why anybody may think that dispatching is easy to do. It is the con like hold the whole trucking thing is this y'all. This, this coin this slogan. The concept is easy. The execution is hard. That's the difference. So don't get caught up. Don't get caught up thinking because the you know because the concept of it is like oh okay all I got to do is get a truck, get a driver, get this, get that. Okay, you correct about that. But you're still in a learning process. You're still doing a learning curve. If it took me four and a half years just to realize. What I realized, not to say that, well, y'all should definitely move faster than me, but you're going to also realize that every market and every day is different. The gang, could, right now we in COVID. This is some old weird ass shit right now with the trucking business. January is normally slow and summers are normally slow. Right now we getting some of the best money we ever seen in the summertime right now. Cleaning up right now. I ain't making peak season money, but we cleaning up right now. So understand that all of those are all different variables and everybody's situation is different. And don't listen to nobody telling you what you can't do. It's a possible way to do it. It just might be harder in, in certain scenarios. And you just might be trying to, you know, sell snow cones in Alaska. You don't want to be doing that. You, know, you want to figure out your market first. Your market first. Look at the work in your market and where you trying to do it at before you take any advice from me or anybody else. Get on the DAT load board for your market and see if you can find it. You know, get some proof on what you're trying to do. I already had Amazon routes before I left my job. So I already knew what I was doing. And that shit didn't even make no sense. I was running a hundred miles round trip for $125. I was dumb as hell in the beginning of the game because I didn't know shit about the game. I didn't have anybody to teach me about the game. That's the whole reason why I do this because I see people finna walk down that. Same road. The only thing is, my money was long. I lost 80 grand before I figured the shit out. Not everybody got that, that type of money to lose. But yet, I complain about all. Oh, I don't want to, in your mind, I don't want to make no investment on no uh, $100 book or a $250 coaching car or this. You don't want to pay for no game. Think about what I'm saying. If you make, 
if you profit a hundred thousand this year, this class or whatever that you that you taking gonna be a write off anyway. You pay me five grand or whatever, two fifty, four fifty, whatever. It's gonna be a tax write off anyway. The main thing y'all need to do is start to understand business before y'all can even understand trucking. Y'all gotta understand. People ain't people want to get everything for free. Everything ain't free. Free ain't even free. Free ain't free. Keep that in mind. You can get that second, like people want section eight. Yeah, you getting free housing, but you gotta hide your you gotta hide your dude when they come. That ain't fucking free. It appears to be free, but it ain't free. You gotta hide your dude, you gotta act, do all of that shit. You gotta stay in a certain type of dumbed down mind state to even to even stay on it because they gotta make you jump through hoops just to do it. So free ain't free. And the problem is in our, in our community, a lot of the times everybody want everything for free. That's the problem. If you you how much are you willing to pay for three point five million dollars worth of game? How much are you willing to pay if you if you say you got a goal of a hundred thousand? How much are you ask yourself? How much you willing to pay to to get information to make sure you hit your goal? Niggas will pay for college. I don't get it. You pay for college to go get a job, but you won't pay for a course to start a business. How fucking stupid is that? That don't even make sense. The course is four fifty. College is fucking. 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. I had somebody just talking to, just talking about that shit and just and just pissed me off because they like, I'm trying to um extort my people. I'm like, nigga, I made millions of dollars last year. I don't give a fuck about us. I, what, extort who? Nigga, my time, if I'm doing this, that means my kids out there fucking having a water gun fight in my house and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm doing this. And I can't get up and go whoop their ass. So, nigga, you damn right I'm going to charge something because it's taking, it's taking me time to do it. My Nigga, my, the camera that you're looking at me on costs three bands. Of course I got to pay something. I, the mic costs 450 But you can hear me very clearly. You can see me clearly. I got to do this for the perception for most people in the, in, the, in, the, in the community to even pay attention to what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck about driving no Bentleys or no... I just got a 392 or, you know, or like driving it. I do that shit because it's fun every now and then. But that shit don't mean nothing in comparison to to um, giving people the knowledge and freeing people and making sure that people don't make those same exact mistakes in business that that I made. And that's not understanding the cost. Somebody asked me about the cost, the cost breakdown. I'm feeling real good real quick right now. Right now. All right, look. I'm going to just tell you this. If you ain't got six. If you in a box truck and you ain't got six categories that you taking from to consider your cost, driver, fuel, maintenance, insurance, a miscellaneous, just in case you get some tolls, hotels, if you over the road, if you ain't factoring in your fuel costs in all of these different categories, your ELDs, where you park your truck, if you ain't factoring every single thing, if you ain't factoring every single thing in it, you already lost. So when somebody give you a thousand mile route, the first thing you need to do is like thousand miles divided by seven miles per gallon. What does that equal? Okay, boom. What is the average miles per gallon right now? You see what I'm saying? That's the type of shit you will learn in the class. It's hard to break it down because I can't show y'all. So I'm me saying it to you just, oh shit, that sounds like a lot. Yeah, I know. But that's that's exactly what it is to understand your numbers so you can tell a motherfucker, no, I can't run that. Because you need to know where you need to be able to say no. You can't say yes to these people. You're going to lose. I'm telling you. You're going to lose. Bro, I'm 19. Bro, I'm 19. And I'm launching my shit for box trucks in October. Any tips? I would say, hey, take the class so you can get a general understanding of the game. Me giving you tips about a game you don't understand, the the you don't even you ain't gonna even be able to properly receive the tips because you don't even understand. That's like that's like having that's like taking a football player and making them do or a basketball player and making them do suicides when they don't even understand the game of basketball. They're not gonna understand the conditioning that it takes to actually even, you know, why they even doing what they're doing. People gotta first understand why they're doing it. The class is five to the class is five to eight hours. It's really over in like four and a half, but we see I, it don't it's not over until everybody questions is answered. That's when the class is over. So no more questions are being asked. So yeah, I just like to go on that spiel, let y'all know, like outside of 
this truck and shit, like, nigga, I really be trying to get people to understand, like, you got to invest. You can't be sitting back with your little 20,000, like, bruh, if you don't get the information and figure out how you're going to make that work or get a coach or get somebody that could design a plan for you <clears throat> or you design a plan for yourself, that's, that's all you got to do. But the risk is in not knowing. So if once you, when you know the game, you ain't really taking a risk. That's the thing that I don't get why people can't understand the concept. If I showed you that, if I told you that I can get you five grand guaranteed, Bro, I can show you the numbers. I can I can show you that I already did a million. That's just on box trucks. They ain't even counting the seven figures that we're doing on the semi. They ain't even they ain't even counting that. So that's all I'm saying. So if I'm if I'm gonna talk to you, really, I feel like I ain't charging enough. To be honest, I ain't charging enough. Because sometimes I'll be talking to people, I'll be like, this shit ain't even worth my time. But I understand that our people are the hardest fucking people to reach. And that, 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 that's just what it is. Our people just want it fucking handed, handed to you. Here, here you go. Fuck no. I charge the only, if you bumped into me at a gas station, I'll probably talk to you about trucking for an hour. But online, I don't know who is who. So nigga, you got to charge. And like I said, time ain't, nigga, the time is free. I know, I know what I'm talking about. It's proven. So I know I be, uh, I be, I be going in, but it's because I care a lot about People elevating their mind. This ain't even to understand this game and make money. It's, it's more about everybody want to know the trucking, but you got you to gotta have the right mindset to even be an entrepreneur. You can't be no entrepreneur trying to come in now and five talking about you want weekends off. You want Labor Day off and you just started your business a month before because you're trying to be at your family with a damn barbecue, but Amazon got the highest paying lanes on that particular day because everybody else want to be off. You, nigga, you need to be running. You need to be doing that. Y'all want to be off in vacation mode. Stop looking at everybody on Instagram. Stop comparing yourself to people who are way further ahead of you. You can't try to be where I'm at without going through the process of what I went through to get to this point. That's the problem. But, hey, man, how can I get the 20 trucks in it? Nigga, you ain't finna do that shit tomorrow. That's for damn show. You ain't finna get there tomorrow. It's going to take a minute. And you're going to have to sit down and understand and take the time out to actually understand what it is. But well, I, I need some water. My fucking throat hurt. I'm going to holler at y'all later. But peace and love, y'all. Um, I'm passionate for the people, though. And I hate when people hit me up about stupid shit and talking about free shit all the time. I hate it. But I understand our people been conditioned and we've been slammed. But that's why I don't worry. I, I show y'all, look, I got a gold tooth in my shit, man. I can, you can do it whatever. You could, it, it, I, I don't, you don't need no certain type of nothing. I wear V-neck white tees every day. You know, you ain't got to be no no certain no certain type of way. All you got to do is have a certain type of way you think. No matter how you look. That's why I love trucking. I love it because it don't even matter. Dallas, Texas just bought my box truck. Low, low boys were looking a little dry. Oh, yeah. That's because you probably don't have to go over the road. You, you might have. I hope you ain't do it just looking to be local. I've been running doubles for a small company, Amazon. Need you, King. Don't stop. All right, for sure, for sure. Now, I ain't, I ain't stopping. I might actually go live a little more often because I think I need to get in y'all shit a little more <laughs> because I'm like, man, y'all got to get it. We got to elevate the mind and stop thinking like slaves. Some of us weren't even slaves. They just, you just end up getting into the slave mindset, expecting everything to come easy. So anybody down to put in the work, man, let's get in the class. Let's get it popping. Um, And like I said, I, I see y'all in class on the coaching co on a one on one, hopefully we could build together. Cause like I said, once you once you patronize me, hey, you go you get my number so we could text. I might have, you know, like I said, it's all about building for me, but I don't know who 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 really with it and who just who just on her capping. Peace, y'all. Stay away from international box trucks, especially if they before 2016. My last question, and I'm out.